The next learning objective is spatial prediction. And in this, we will talk about regression and Kriging. So spatial prediction is estimation of an unmeasured data based upon measured samples um, of a set of variables. So um, as we mentioned earlier, that this involves more than one, it can involve more than one variable as predictors. Um, so here's an example. Uh, statistical methods, uh, so this, this is based upon uh, statist statistical methods that rely on spatial autocorrelation. Um, so here's an example of uh, groundwater. So water level at point B um, needs to be predicted and water level at point C needs to be predicted. So A can be a better predictor for B than C because C is far away. So, in other words, the, the uh, spatial autocorrelation of the water table between A and B points will be much higher than the spatial autocorrelation between point A and C. Um, likewise, so in this case, we are using the same variable. So, water table at A versus water table at B versus water table at C. But this can be extended in case of spatial prediction to other variables as, as well. For example, let's say we are relating water table with the surface elevation and the bedrock elevation. So in this case, um, it won't be called autocorrelation. It will be called cross-correlation. So same variables, autocorrelation. Different variables, cross-correlation. So if we are trying to determine, if we are trying to predict the surface um, the water table from surface elevation then the two will have higher cross correlation compared to the water table level in relation to the bedrock and um, this um, this represents the the cross correlation between the two different variables or in other words the surface elevation is a much better predictor for the water table than the bedrock value, uh, elevation. So this, this is the main concept behind spatial prediction where we are using statistical um, autocorrelation or co cross-correlation to predict the unknown or unmeasured values. So first of all, let's talk about spatial regression. This is a statistical method you are familiar with, you have seen it in your um, statistics class, and basically what we do, we have two variables, um, x and y, and we collect some sample points um, for both x and y um, at the same locations, and these are related through a regression line. And once we have a regression line, we have a regression model that then can be used to find um, values at the unmeasured points. So this is the main idea behind spatial regression, which is pretty straightforward. The other one is called Kriging. And this is a little bit more complicated because this takes into account the spatial variability of the, of the variables. So this is also a statistical uh, technique, um, and it takes into account how things are varying in space. It's similar to inverse distance weighting um, when we it comes to computing, but instead of the inverse distance, the weights are coming from um, the variance of the variable. And the variance is coming from what we call a semi-variogram. And this is um, basically a, a, a graph between the distance and the semivariance. Um, and this graph tells us how things are varying with distance. So variance tells us how much is the variation within the data, and distance um, is a, a lag. So this basically is telling us how is the variance increasing with distance, and then at a certain distance it's becoming constant. And it's done based upon the sample points. 
So a little bit more about semivariogram. It summarizes the variance as a function of lag distance. So here is here are some measurements. These could be temperature. Um, these could be rainfall measurements. Um, so because they are related to space, they must have some spatial autocorrelation between them. So things that are here must be related to uh, things that are going on here, here, um, but at the same time we can assume that the things, the 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 points that are closer to this are more correlated than the points that are farther away, and this distance is called the lag distance. Um, so for small lag h, the semivariance is small, um, which we can see in this graph. So this is small lag, so semivariance is small. But as we go away, um, the semivariance increases. So a, as H increases, the semivariance increases. And um, I want to point out the semivariance is basically just half of the variance. You know what variance is as a square of standard deviation. So just divide it by 2 to get semivariance. Um, and so this is the, the measure of spatial variability in the Kriging method. And once we have the semivariogram calculated, then from there we can measure we can actually estimate these weights, lambdas, um, and then these lambdas become the weights for computing the unmeasured location. So if these are all the known locations with measured data, and then you find these lambdas from the variogram, then weighted sum is the unknown value.